I want to be formal, but I'm also here to party. Anyway, January's coming up. Cost nothing to subscribe. Hit that button. We'll catch you on the next one. Hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you nothing. Hit that button. I'm fancy. Hey guys, it's Kevin from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs. It's been uh, probably around a week since I've worked on the little Ford Marley Roadster here. But uh, the task at hand now is to uh, see about the rear end. As you can see, it's nothing's going on in there. So uh, the rear end I want to see if it'll work will be out of a mid 70s little Ford Maverick. I think it's uh, got like low three gears in it. But I want to see if it's going to be a decent uh, width for this. So I'm first going to place that in here and then uh, start seeing what I want to do for the rear frame here. So I'm going to start fooling around this and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks a lot. Okay guys, I've got the uh, tires mounted on the, the little eight inch rear end here. It's roughly where it's got to be. It's, I know it still needs to get moved up a little bit, but I just want to see what uh, what the stance is going to be. It's uh, I like it. It's an old school look, you know. It's uh, it's not too low and it's not too high, right? So, but uh, here's the next uh, te task at hand. I got to remove this part of the rear subframe. So I'm just going to drill out the uh, the rivets. And then relocate this one uh, pretty much almost, a, we'll say, a foot forward here. Right there. Now, the reason why I have to get to the uh, top of my, uh, my frame here to uh, start to see about my rear cross member and to finish up the rest of the, uh, the frame here at the cross member so, so I can start seeing about mounting uh, my shock locations and... Uh, my rear radius rods. I'm going to be seeing if I can use these these uh, springs here, these coilovers, and uh, also these rear radius rods. So I know coilovers aren't traditional, but this isn't going to be 100% traditional, right? With the small block Chevy and whatnot. So, but I'll make do with what I have. So I'm going to start to drill out that rear part of the subframe there and then uh, go from there jeez what a bunch of headaches Doo -doo -doo -doo. okay guys it's been I don't know well over a week since the last time I talked uh, touched the little model a here but uh, today I got some help we're gonna uh, center up the rear end we set the wheelbase there. I've got a point that's driven in here now so that can uh, bring the, the firewall a little closer to the engine. And then, uh, so this is exactly the wheelbase. I haven't measured it yet, but this is going to be the stance. So we, uh, the axle is right dead center where we're supposed to be in the wheel opening here. And uh, the task at hand is tonight. We're going to take the body off in a minute, but we're going to start uh, doing the back half here for my uh, rear frame here. So I'm going to be running these coilovers here and then these rear radius rods here. So it's not 100% traditional, but it'll work against the stuff that I have in the garage. And not only did we have to come and give him a hand, I had to bring pizza yes. for him, for us. So once again, I got screwed. Yeah, with your pants on. Whatever. But yeah, so that's our, uh, our job tonight is the center up the rear end after this and start to work on the back half of the frame here. So, uh, I'll see you soon. And I guess it is a pretty good height. You can probably eat a cheeseburger off oh, yeah. or something. That's pretty good. I wish it was a little lower, but it's a good stance. It'll be all right. All right, let's get to work. You got a, a video in here? Yeah, it's right. Right. Yeah. Do you want this side it's lighter here? Or do you like to walk around there? Yeah, yeah. Just saying at least it's less, uh,
So it's the next day. Uh, we've had the body on and off like uh, probably a half a dozen times. Uh, just getting the rear end geometry. We'll show you what we did. We uh, everything's just tacked in there. It's not completely welded in. Uh, we've got uh, square tubing just mounted on the, up on top of the frame that gave us our height for our, our uh, coil springs that came with this uh, roadster when we bought it at the auction. Uh, we had to make we got our hairpins just tacked on. I don't know if you can get in here. We made uh, made these brackets. Just made them uh, made a small cardboard template, welded out, and made them out of uh, three eight steel, and just like the ones you can buy. And that'll allow us to uh, get that allow us. To, get the axle uh, rear end uh, in its place and we can adjust it now. Uh, we've got the pinion angle a little high but we're just gonna adjust the uh, all the adjustments on the hairpin. We can lower it down a bit. And um, these frame brackets that uh, Kevin welded in, these ones, these ones are gonna be cut out, cut out and basically brought up and over. Uh, they were just put left straight just for rigidity and keep the, the back end st stiff, but we'll cut those out so it allows the uh, axle to move up and down. But as of right now, it's sitting on all four uh, tires. Um, we're basically in the position of uh, the next thing to do is weld up the tranny cross member put that in and start making uh, body mounts uh, for it. You still got to cut out a little bit of the firewall for clearance but this is all these are all tack welded in all the hairpins up front just gonna do final welding. We did a, a million measurements just to try and get the rear end straight uh, we got it pretty damn close and the rest will adjust with the uh, adjustable hairpins. So that's good. And yeah, uh, it's coming along. It's got it, it sits nicely. Uh, the rear end is, sits perfectly in, in line. It's got a nice uh, stance to it, we think. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. We've got, a lot of work to do still, but it's come along. And uh, yeah, next thing we'll do probably is uh, tranny mount, uh, and then start looking at body mounts and and fixing up the back here. But yeah, that'll be next day or two or week whenever we get back to it. So we'll see you later.